Oh, Mr. Bear! Wake up, Mr. Bear! Oh, Mr. Bear! Wake up! Spring is here! What? Mr. Bear, wake up! <laughs> what? Emerson? That's not what I wrote in the script. Oh, come on, Ashlyn, it's funny. <laughs> <sighs> and where are Willa and Camille? They've been gone forever. <laughs> Oh! Wow! Awesome! Happy little flowers, happy little flowers. Hey, Willa, look what I found! Won't these look nice for the stage? Oops! Sorry! It's okay. Look! Now there are two puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Butterfly wings? No, that. Ah, a bird. Not just any bird. I knew it! Okay, you guys, let's take it from the top. Oh, Mr. Bear, wake up! Spring is here! Oh, Mr. Bear! Mr. Bear! Huh? What's that noise? Willa, what are you doing? Come on, you guys, let's practice the show. In a minute. I think it's coming from over there. We're looking for a bird. I knew it! The first songbird of spring! Ooh! Aww. Wow! She is adorable. Mm. Actually, she is a he. Only boy songbirds can sing like that. Well, he is still adorable. I wonder what he's singing about. Oh, I'll tell you. He can't decide what he wants for lunch. Well, that bird feeder we made is around here somewhere. Songbirds don't like bird seed very much. What they really like are big, fat worms. Ew, worms. Worst lunch ever. Blech. They like bugs and grubs, too. Ew! Double yuck. I agree. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice and juicy. <gasps> Ew! Ew! Get it off! Here, you take it, Kendall. Ashlyn, Ew. it's just Ew. a worm. It won't bite you. Ew, it's all squiggly. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Songbird. Lunch is served. You're welcome. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. Okay, back to the puppet show. Everyone get ready to sparkle and shine. It's showtime. Grab your puppets. What's his problem? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Maybe he didn't like the worm? Never mind that. Now, let the show begin. And let's make it as perfect as possible. Oh, Mr. Bear, wake up! Spring is here, Mr. Bear. How rude. Do you mind? Yeah, I'm trying to perform here. What are you doing, Mr. Songbird? Aha! I think I found something. Look! Whoa! Look at that! A bird's nest? When did that get there? Can you give me a boost? I'll try and get a better look. Here, give me your foot. <sighs> Sorry. That's 
that's embarrassing. Don't worry, Kendall. Let's do it together. <laughs> that's why the songbird doesn't want us around here. He's protecting the eggs. Baby birds, they're my favorite. But what about our puppet show? We can't get anything done with that songbird on guard. Maybe we should wait. They may hatch really soon. Well, they might. Or it could take weeks. An itty little bird can't ruin everything. The show must go on. Well, I guess. Okay, you're right. Let's do it. Okay, that's it. He's gone. I think we scared him off. Let's take it from the top. Welcome, everybody, to... <gasps> My puppet! Come back here! There's no point. We can't practice as long as those birds are around. Well, let's just move them. People should never touch baby bird eggs. We just need to be patient. I have been patient. Ashlyn, what are you doing? I won't touch the eggs, but I'm moving that nest. Wait, no! The eggs! Look! Tweet, tweet! <laughs> They're so tiny! Welcome, birdies. Ashlyn, you've got to see this. Oh, all right. Welcome to the garden, little birdies. They look so cozy in their home. Well, we can't move those little itty-bitty babies now. But what about the show? The birds can't move, but we can. Great idea to move the playhouse, Ashlyn. Put some sparkle in your wellies. <sighs> Perfect. Yay! <gasps> Thank you. I know. Let's sing to the songbirds. La, 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 la. Hello, new friends. How do you do? We're really glad you're here. We've waited so long to meet you. I do say so myself. I think the songbirds enjoyed it too. Especially my part. <laughs> it's the perfect welcoming present. I can think of one more present we can give them. Doing? Panting. Like a puppy. Yeah. It's what they do to keep cool. Oh, okay. Have either of you seen the lit to my teapot? Tea? Oh, Ashlyn, how can you think about tea? Yeah. 
It's a zillion degrees today. Well, maybe Camille has seen my lead. Bye. Woof, woof. Camille. Camille. Hey, Ashlyn, what's up? Have you seen the lid to my tea? <gasps> Please tell me that wasn't the lid to my teapot. Um, okay. It wasn't the lid to your teapot. Oh, that teapot was my favorite. Oh, what am I going to do now? Cool off, Ashlyn. It's too hot to get bothered. Come and sit under this tree. It's like a big shady umbrella. Or like a big shady jungle gym. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> hey, careful. That little tree needs every leaf it can get. Poor thing. You're so itty bitty teeny weeny. Especially next to this big tree. It's summer. Leaves shouldn't go yellow in the summer. Yeah, I think yellow leaves means it needs more sun. It's so small. Like a baby. If it's always in the shade, then how's it ever going to grow big and strong? Oh, no. Poor, poor little tree. Well, its little tree needs sun. Let the sun shine in! You did it! Easy peasy lemon breezy! <laughs> Good try, Willa. <gasps> hey, I know! If we can't get sunlight to little tree, then let's move little tree to the sunlight. Yeah! Move little tree? Sure! We just need the right garden tools! I feel a project coming on. What are you doing now? Rolling into dirt, like piglets. It's how they keep cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're moving a little tree to a new home. Want to help? Sure. Just as soon as we've cooled down. <laughs> okay. Wheelbarrow? Check. Shovels? Check, check. Big, strong muscles for digging? Check. Right, on my count. One, two, three. Let's dig! Wait! What? Well, um... It's the other tree. Shouldn't we ask for its permission before we move its friend? Um, I guess we could. It would be the polite thing to do. I think I can speak tree. Let me try. <sighs> oh, tree of the garden. Is it okay if we move little tree into the sunshine? What did it say? Hmm, no answer. Maybe I was talking maple, not oak. Um, uh, maybe if you say please it might help. Let me try again. <sighs> oh, tree of the garden. Is it okay if we move little tree into the sunshine? Please. Look, it's nodding yes. Oh, it really is, isn't it? Thank you, tree of the garden. Wow, Ashlyn. I didn't know you could speak tree. It was closer to maple, but that's okay. Okay, let's get started. Wait. Now what? Well, I, um, I think I saw flower fairies over there by the flowers. Real sparkly flower fairies? I think so. How many flower fairies do you think there are? Do you think they'll be pink and purple with sparkles? I think I found one. Oh, oh. What about this? No, that's not it either. We should keep looking. What are you looking for, Ashlyn? Flower fairies, but we can't find any. What are you two doing? Flapping our ears, of course. Like elephants. It's what they do to cool down. But it's not really working. I'm boiling. Well, we're finally going to move the tree. Are you coming? Just a little bit more flapping, and we'll be right there. <laughs> did you see them? We didn't see fairies. But we did see two elephants. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what I saw. I'm always getting fairies and elephants mixed up. Well, fairies aren't going to dig this tree up. We are. It's shoveling time. Um, where are our shovels? 
Shovels. Yeah, they couldn't have just got up and walked off. Look, maybe they can walk. And climb? They <laughs> might have. Okay, can we get digging now? No! We can't. We just can't. Why? Sorry, you guys. There are no fairies, and I'm the one who hid the shovels. Because, well, because maybe a little tree is supposed to look like this. Maybe it's called a teeny yellow leafy tree. And maybe teeny yellow leafy trees need to stay right where they are. <gasps> Camille, I really think we need to move little tree into a better spot. No. Before it loses any more leaves. No. So it can grow. No, no, no. It's staying right here. We can't take Little Tree away. What's wrong, Camille? This is Little Tree's home. The only home it's ever known. Moving to new places is scary and sad. And I don't want it to be scared or sad. What are you talking about? Well, it'll miss all of its old friends. See? Oh, like when you first moved here. Yeah, you were really sad. I remember now. But you're not sad now. Well, no. So there must be some good things about moving. I guess. Like meeting us. Right, you made new friends. And we're pretty good friends. Even if I do say so myself. The best friends. I just had the greatest idea ever. Let's help Little Tree make some new friends. Okay, but... How? Trust me, I've got a plan. But we need all our friends to help. <laughs> Even the elephants. New places are so exciting. New faces are so inviting. New friends to help you sing your song. to see where you can be the you that you're meant to be and before too long you'll know that you belong but with a little more space for you to grow you'll find some things you never knew you needed to know new places are so exciting new faces are so inviting new friends to help you sing your song to be in for too long and for too long Love having new friends. What if the playhouse doesn't work? Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey! It's working! Um, Emerson, I already watered Little Tree. I'm not watering Little Tree. I'm watering me. I'm about to wilt. <laughs> Uh-oh! Oh, oh Emerson, no! <laughs> hey, look at Karen! What a greedy little rascal. Huh? Hey, Emerson. What? You gonna eat that? I think you need it more than me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Check out Norman the snowman. <laughs> <laughs> he looks kind of chill.
chilly. Too bad the animals don't have a cozy, festive playhouse like ours. They love that. Oh, oh, oh! We could make one for them in the snow. Or we can make one for them out of snow. Oh, come on, Kendall. How would you make a fort out of snow? It would be freezing. Actually, air pockets trapped within compressed snow offer natural insulation and are very effective at providing protection from wind as well as extremely low temperatures. What? Huh? What? Snow forts are kind of the same. Let me show you. I'll need paper and a crayon. I have paper. That will do nicely. Building a snow fort is kind of simple. That is, of course, until you come to the roof. A quick line here and a support beam there. And bingo, bingo! You have yourself a sturdy snow fort. Yeah, wow. town. Kendall, you are too genius. This is the best snow fort ever. Thanks. We have got to do this. Who's in? Me. I'm in. We'll all help. <gasps> My legs are itchy, and you know what that means? You've got ants in your pants? <laughs> uh-uh. There's a storm a-brewing. All the more reason to build a snow fort. Aww. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. We'll just have to work super fast. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. You know how sometimes you guys start projects and don't finish? What do you mean? No. Really? Just yesterday, I finished an entire cupcake. And then she finished mine. <laughs> <laughs> what about the time you made lemonade, but gave up before adding the sugar? <laughs> oh, yeah, we were all like... <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget the tree house. That never did make it up the tree. That was forever ago. We'll get it done, we promise. I don't know. With my wellies as my witness. We can't do it without you. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't look at me. <laughs> Incoming. Good one, Camille. Oh, you're gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You guys, come on. Oh, right. Coming. Back to work. Sorry. Looking good. Almost halfway there. Are you kidding me? It's taking forever. Uh. <laughs> hmm. I think it's missing something. <laughs> Yeah, a roof. If we keep at it, we might just beat the storm. No, that's not it. <gasps> decorations! It needs decorations! I agree. But, um... I can make a carpet of pine needles. That'll cozy it up. Yeah, but don't forget... Yeah, and a little mailbox for all their holiday cards. But the roof! The roof! The roof needs a building. <laughs> oh, yeah! Good idea, Kendall. A dance floor would be super cute. That's not what I... How about snowmen? Yeah! I mean, what's a snow fort without snowmen? But what's a snow fort without a roof? Don't worry. We'll be right back. A hand, the snow is starting to come down fast. Just one more minute, Kendall. We're almost done. There. Hmm, I think it's missing something. A little sparkle here, a little sparkle there. Sparkle, 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 and sparkle. Oh, isn't it fancy? A little too fancy, if you ask me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There is no such thing as too fancy. Now it's perfect. It's something all right. What's that? The fairy princess from Cotton Candy Kingdom on her way to the ice rink. Okay, maybe there is such thing as too fancy. Mm-hmm. We promise we'll help you. Don't worry, Kendall. With my wellies as my witness, this is going to be so much fun. Yeah, sure. Fun for some. We have to hurry! If the 
the snow comes down any harder, the fort will just fill up with snow. I'll just finish up here and then I'll be right with you. But the roof is way more important. Don't worry, we'll get to it. You can trust us. I did trust you. And you broke your promise. <laughs> Gopher's breath. No offense, Norman. What a disaster. I told you we would be in trouble if we didn't work fast. Now everything is ruined. Are you serious? Hmm. Whoops. She's right. We promised to help. And we left her to do all the hard work by herself. Well, there's only one way to make it up to her, and I think we all know what that is. Does anyone know how to build a roof? Yeah, no. Mm -mm. If only it would stop snowing. I wish I had an umbrella. Umbrella, Camille? It's not even raining. I just thought, you know, bunched together did make a good roof. That is actually Totally brilliant! What are we waiting for? <laughs> Ugh, what are they doing now? <gasps> Not bad. Not bad at all. Although it is missing something. Huh? Decorations! Now let's deck the halls. Yes, yeah. oh, great, great idea! We built our friends a fort out in the snow. It's a very special place. Are we finished yet? <laughs> no. We still need to decorate the space. Well, if that's the case, we got a lot of work to do. Let's go! Not too shabby. Aww. Hey! They love it! I knew they would. Building a snow fort is hungry work. Don't be a greedy guts. Save some for me. Don't worry. I think there's enough to go around. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. What do you think, Emerson? Uh... Perfect. Arms next, Camille. Now all she needs is a nose. How about this pine cone? Oh, you mean like a carrot nose? Carrot, don't be a greedy bunny. You've eaten three carrots today already. Hey, everybody, come look at this. Huh? A present from moi? Ashlyn, you shouldn't have. <laughs> nice try. It's something for all 
all of us. It's time for everyone's favorite game show, What's in the Box? Hosted by the one and only, super duper talented, me. <laughs> oh, Emerson. Is it a nose for our snow woman? Is it a nose for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Snow Woman? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kendall. Guess again. I know, I know. They're, uh, they're... And sorry, out of time. I know what they are. You put them on your head to keep from floating off the ground. Look. <laughs> it totally works. <sighs> so close, yet so far away. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't smell much, but I feel like the answer is right in front of my nose. <laughs> What's so funny? Tell me. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> well, at least now I know what they are. Face paint. Ding, ding, ding. Kendall got it. Brilliant. Oh, nice going, Kendall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I mean, ladies and ladies, it's how you play What's in the Box. I've never had my face painted before. What are we supposed to paint? We could do flowers on our cheeks. Ooh, or how about stars? What if we paint ourselves to look like mermaids sliding down a chocolate rainbow into a pool of pink berry tears? Uh, how would we do that, Camille? Yeah, I guess it would be pretty hard. <gasps> But what if we were leprechauns sliding down a chocolate rainbow into a pool of pink fairy tears? Right. That sounds much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Carrot wants to try face painting too. Wait a minute. Carrot just gave me an awesome idea. Let's paint ourselves to look like our favorite animals. Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Best idea ever. I know what animal I'm going to be. Uh, shh. Don't tell. It's a surprise. To the Playhouse. <laughs> you girls ready? Almost. I'm my favorite animal. Favorite animal of all time. Time's a billion. All right, I'll go first. Squeak! I'm a mouse. <laughs> Good doggy. I'm a fish. Me next. You guys are gonna love mine. Oh, <laughs> me next. <laughs> Both at the same time. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Meow. Huh? <gasps> oh! Emerson, you make a super cute cat. What are you supposed to be, Willa? Seriously, I'm a Persian cat. Obviously. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty. Act like a cat again. Now watch this. You're so convincing. Maybe you used to be a cat. Sweet kitty, witty, witty, kitty, kitty. <gasps> are you so cute? Meow. <clears throat> I mean, you make a great cat. Congratulations, Emerson. I think you win. <laughs> huh? Great cat? Whoa. Great cat? My cat impersonation is better than Emerson's. <laughs> meow. Meow. <laughs> <gasps> Ashlyn? Oops, was that me? I'm supposed to be a mouse, not a piggy. <laughs> meow. What are you doing, Willa? Nothing. Just trying to get rid of an annoying furball. <coughs> Furball! <coughs> Ew! Meow? Meow? <laughs> Isn't meow. Emerson funny? Uh, a cat would never do that, but it would clean itself like this. I'm a cat! I like to gobble up little squeakers. <coughs> I'm a mouse! <laughs> 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 Sneaker, <laughs> 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 
you. <laughs> Go. That's weird. I saw them right there. It's okay. The show, I mean, the chase, must go on. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Willa, play with us. Nuh uh. Why not? It's fun. Because. because. this is dumb. I don't want to play anymore. What's wrong, Willa? You okay? Oh, you smeared your cat makeup. Is that it? Willa, we can't help what we don't know what's going on. Squeak, squeak! Wanna know what helps me? But things will go exactly the way that I planned. I gotta talk, talk, talk about it. When I don't get the solo in the rock and roll band, I gotta talk, talk, talk about it. You gotta talk, you gotta talk, you gotta talk about it. You gotta talk, talk. You gotta talk, you gotta talk about it You gotta talk, talk, talk about it When I make something awesome and it breaks into two I gotta talk, talk, talk about it When I wanna go swimming but the sky is in blue I gotta talk, talk, talk about it When your feelings well up inside you You feel so much better if you talk them through you gotta talk, you gotta talk about it You gotta talk, talk, talk about it You gotta talk I don't know if I can You gotta talk I really don't want to You gotta talk Alright, I'll give it a shot I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk about it I'm gonna talk, talk, talk about it We're gonna talk, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about it We're gonna talk, talk, talk about it You'll feel better if you talk about it, Willa Okay, it really bugged me when he said Emerson was a great cat, but you didn't say anything about me. She's not the only one who can hack up a furball, you know. Oh, Willa, I didn't know I was making you feel bad. It's just that cats are my favorite animal. Time's a bazillion. Willa, we think you're a great cat. Yeah. I'm sure your furball is the stickiest, yuckiest ever. Personally, not a talent I would want, but hey, there you go. You know, I do kind of feel better. Oh, but there's something else. When I got mad, I might have sort of, um, crushed. Meow. 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 <laughs> 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 Hey, it's Carrot's Carrot. Now we can finish the snow woman. There, she's perfect. Wait, not yet. Now she's perfect. Aw, oh, Carrot, do you want to talk about it? <laughs> and it's a beautiful day, folks, out here in the garden. We're just getting ready to start the Welly Wisher Championship Tournament. Y'all stay in your seats right here. It's a swift pass to Emerson. Emerson to Willa. And here we go, folks. The famous Willa wind-up. Blinking, you'll miss it! It's going, going! I got it! I got it! I don't got it. Gone! The crowd goes wild! Ha! <sighs> Ugh! That ball, it never lets me catch it. You can't hide from me. Ooh, these leaves look weird. Camille, did you find it? Got it. And I found something else, too. Well, sports fans, I guess that's the end of the ball game. Look, strangest leaves I've ever seen. Ooh, look so at that. Cool. Oh, wow. I'm going to pick them for my collection. Your collection of what? Of goofy leaves. Oh, <gasps> no, those aren't leaves. They're chrysalises. Get out of town. You're kidding. I can't believe it. What are chrysalises? 
When caterpillars eat a lot, they make a chrysalis to sleep in. So it's like a sleeping bag? Yeah, and if they sleep long enough, they wake up as a butterfly. You mean they have butterflies inside of them? Right this very second? Yep. See the colors on the bottom? That means the butterflies are almost ready to come out. Do they have tiny alarm clocks to wake them up? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Let's do something special for when they come out. Yeah, to welcome them. Like a dance. That idea is fantastic. We'll call it drum roll, please. Okay, okay, that's enough. The butterfly ballet. Loving it. We can make butterfly costumes with wings that really flap. Look, there are five of them and five of us. We can each pick our own butterfly. I'll take that one. Can I have one? I'll take that one. That one's mine. I'll have that one. We'll be the first thing the butterflies ever see. So everything needs to be perfect to welcome them. We better hurry. Looks like they're close to making their grand entrance. Bingo, bingo, ready for liftoff. I've outdone myself again. I just hope my butterflies are jealous. Just a little twinkle dust. A little? You think I need more? <laughs> I think that should do it. Great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little more orange here and the exact markings there. Perfect, just like the real thing. Time to practice our butterfly ballet. Positions, please. Wait a minute, where's Willa? Over here. Willa, what are you doing? We're supposed to be practicing. But I am practicing. My dance starts with a little wiggle and a squiggle. And for the next part, I'll... <gasps> oh. Willa, are you okay? And that, my friends, is why we have rehearsals. <gasps> oh no, Willa, your poor wings. <gasps> Oh, squirrel sticks, they're ruined. You can still do your wiggle dance. But what's a butterfly without wings? A caterpillar? <laughs> Maybe we can help somehow. How? We do have plenty of crepe paper and paint left over. And wing fixing is my specialty. Okay, here's the plan. Kendall helps Willa fix her wings, and Camille and Emerson are on butterfly watch. And what are you going to do, Ashlyn? I'm the party planner. My job is to make sure we stick with the plan. <laughs> <gasps> it's wiggling. What now? I'll go get the others. You keep an eye on them. Right. Try to keep the butterflies from coming out until we get back. Um, okay, but what if... Just make sure they stay in. Hmm, okay. Maybe a lullaby will keep them asleep. Please stop wiggling and go to sleep so my friends can all get here. No more wiggling. Please, no jiggling. I might get nervous and get the hiccups. So go back to sleep. Hiccup. Oh no, that wasn't part of the song. Hiccup. See, your wings are good as new. Well, the markings aren't quite perfect, but hopefully my butterfly won't mind. No! Uh, oh, no! Oh, no! I can't meet the butterfly with these. They're not so bad. Look, they still flap. It won't be as fun if we don't all dance together. Come on, Camille is making the butterflies wait for all of us. They can't wait forever. Flappy, flap, flap, flap. I'll just watch, I guess. No, no. Don't come out. Go back to sleep. So my friends get here. Please go back to sleep. Please, please, please. Camille, you're coming. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I didn't think I could keep them asleep much longer. Whoa, look, it's happening. 
my gosh, you guys! This Check it out! This is so exciting! It started! Look! That's mine! Hello there, little buddy. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> with a smile. You don't have to be perfect. Look, here it comes. Huh. This little chrysalis isn't as colorful as the others. You're right. It's more brown. It's okay. You can do it. <gasps> Wait a minute. This isn't a butterfly. This is a cute little moth. And look, Willa. Its wings look just like yours. Hey, they do. Guess my wings aren't so terrible after all. I'm going to show my moth my bestest, mothiest boogie ever. In fact, my wings are sort of perfect. <laughs> Willis Butterfly <laughs> Ballet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me. big hurry. Same here. <laughs> I'm meeting Willa. She's planning a surprise. I'm meeting Willa too. It must be something big. Maybe it's a puppy. You always think it's a puppy. All I know is Willa said meet her at the flower, flower garden. garden. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Willa. What's the surprise? That's Firefly for welcome. They talk by flashing the little lights in their backsides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you make a great firefly. Now, back to the surprise. This is the surprise. Oh. I'm planning a firefly walk in the garden tonight so we can meet real fireflies. Tonight? As in, after the sun goes down? When it's dark out? Well, yeah. You can see fireflies glowing in the day. Um, uh, I don't know if I can make it, Willa. I might have to, um, wash my hamster's hair. Yeah, and I might have to, uh, practice playing my bagpipes. Oh, fidgety frog's feet. I was hoping you would make decorations, Ashlyn. In Emerson, I wanted you to make your yummy hot cocoa. You guys can't miss it. You don't really have to wash your hamster's hair tonight, do you? No. And do you even play the bagpipes? I don't even own bagpipes. Didn't think so. 
Okay, you first. Why don't you want to go? I don't like being in the dark. Neither do I. It's not so much that I'm afraid of the dark. It's more what could be in the dark. Yeah, things always look creepier in the dark. But it sounds like Willow really wants us to come. Look how excited she is. We can't let her down, Ashlyn. You're right. We should do it for Willa. We'll do it. We'll come. Yay! Trust me, you'll be really glad you came. That's Firefly for Follow Me. Are you sure about this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we can just help Willa set up. And then go home before it's dark. Willa won't mind. Will she? Look, Willa! Moonflowers! Fireflies love moonflowers. The flowers only open up and show themselves at night. Just like fireflies. They look great on the carriage. Good work, Camille. Here, Emerson. <laughs> So, about tonight, the fireflies can drink the moonflower nectar while we drink your famous hot cocoa, Emerson. How about I make it now, before it's dark? But it'll get cold. Come on, let's go check on Kendall. This way, or should I say... <laughs> hey, Kendall. Ooh, these will be perfect. Wow, Kendall, you've been working hard. Thanks. We can use these to catch the fireflies. Great idea. I can't wait for it to get dark. Like, really dark. So dark you can't see your hand in front of your own face. We have to say something. We can't come tonight. Sorry, Willa. Why not? Because it, it will be, be dark. dark. <laughs> what? Are you too afraid of the dark? Why didn't you say so? There's nothing to be afraid of here in the garden. Fireflies honor. We can help, right you guys? Of course. I used to be nervous around water, even bubble baths, till I learned how to swim. Now I'm practically a mermaid. And I used to be afraid that the pile of old wires and stuff in the garage was going to come alive like a robot. But then I started making stuff out of it. And now I know old junk is just a chance to make something new. I guess it kind of depends on how you look at stuff. Just try not to worry, okay? I can do that in the daytime. But it's hard not to worry when it's all dark. All you need is a little practice. How's that? A little darker? I guess so. But it's not scary. Whoa! It's just a squirrel. Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try something else. Wow, it's pretty dark in here. Ah! I'm okay. Ready. You can do this. <gasps> mm. This isn't so bad. It's just all our favorite playhouse things. Yeah, <laughs> except... Wait, a bear. Whoa, there's a bear in the playhouse! Oh, I know how Goldilocks oh. felt! Ah! It's just Teddy Bear. I didn't want you to trip on him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing, so I guess they're not that scared. As long as we stick together, I know you guys can be brave enough to come on the Firefly Walk. How about it, Ashlyn? I think that's Firefly for, let's give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Best hot cocoa ever, even if I do say so myself. One more flower there. Perfect. Now if that doesn't attract our firefly friends, nothing will. Are you guys ready? 
As ready as we'll ever be. Let's do it! Scared. What was that? I'm just a little bit too. We'll be okay. Let's gather up all of our courage and let our light shine through. We're gonna glow. We're gonna glow like the fireflies glow. Brilliant and bright because we know that we can glow. But what are you digging for? We're scavenging for food. Well, that sounds fun and all, but you know what would be more fun? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Coming to my salon for a makeover. Um, no thanks. It's serious work looking for food in the winter, and we need to stay focused. Uh... Look, a nut. Give me five. Rude! Talk about cheeky. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, Willa, what you doing? Do you like my new smile? Kara is teaching me how to smile funny. More like smile funny. You know what would make that new smile of yours really sparkle? A makeover! Sorry, Ashlyn, we really must be hopping off. Slide left and slide right. 
Slide left and slide right. Shimmy to the left and shimmy to hey, the right. Hey, Kendall! Ah! Ashlyn! It's your lucky day. I'm going to give you a makeover. Sorry, Ashlyn. No time for a makeover when there's all the slipping and sliding to do. Slide left and slide uh... right. Slide left and slide right. Shimmy to the left and shimmy to the right. Oh! That's embarrassing. Bum, shimmy time. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Camille! What are you doing? Who said that? It's me. Who's me? I can't see. In fact, I can't see anything with this new hairdo. <gasps> Did you say hairdo? Yeah, I thought I would try out something new. Well, you've come to the right place. Why don't I give you a new, new hairdo? Really? Yeah, it'll be fun. Have you ever done hair before? No, but how hard could it be? I'll give you the best hairdo ever. Trust me, my customers always leave with a smile. <laughs> See? A good hairdresser is always prepared. So, what kind of style were you thinking for today? Hmm, I was thinking I would really like something different. Maybe a mermaid mohawk. Oh. Or a fairy frizz. <gasps> or maybe a bee's nest. <sighs> no, the buzzing could get annoying. Okay, okay. I think I've got it. So, any travel plans coming up? I was thinking about going to the pond in a bit. Ah, uh, yes. I hear the pond is lovely this time of year. <gasps> I'm so hungry. Must get food. Playing in the snow is hungry business. So listen to this. I was at the signpost when I bumped into Willa, who told me that she had heard from Kendall that... What are you guys doing? I'm giving Camille a new hairdo. Love it. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. Okay, Camille. First, I need you to shake out your hair. <coughs> huh? Um, Camille, would you please excuse us for just a teeny tiny moment? Emerson! Why is your sandwich in Camille's hair? Why is her hair in my sandwich? Uh, and it was butter and honey. My favorite. Hey guys, what's going on? Turpin Chipmunks! Camille, why is there. Ashlyn's giving Camille a new hairdo. Shimmy to the right and shimmy to the left. Shimmy to the right and shimmy to the left. Slipping and sliding and. Is that a. A hairmaster at work? Why, yes, it is. Wow. Is everything okay? How's it looking? It looks delicious. <laughs> really? <laughs> good enough to eat. Oh, good. Yep. <gasps> Just need to work through some tangles. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? I promised a new hairdo, not a scare do. Maybe we can help. Sure, there's a. Hmm. Aha! I knew this would come in handy. Oh, thank you. How about everyone lends a hand? Well, okay. So long as the others are as professional as you, Ashlyn. Her customers always leave with a smile. <sighs> it's so sweet you all want to help with my new hairdo. And it smells great, too. Emerson? What? I'm still hungry. Ew. Uh, ew. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Uh, for, um, your hairstyle. <laughs> Ta-da! Perfect. Thanks for helping. Where's the comb? Oh no, I must have left it in Camille's hair. Eek. Ow! Sorry, you know what they say, no pain, no gain. It's not stuck. It's just not coming up yet. I can fix it. Bingo, bingo. How about them apples? Uh, Kendall? What? You girls are being awfully quiet back there. Are you almost done? You can't rush a master! Oh, sorry. 
Blah. It's still all icky and sticky. Have you got any water? I've got lemonade. Lemonade? But mm, won't that make it even stickier? Ta-da! Oh, is it finished? Do you like it? Well, I've never seen anything like that. Can I see? Where's that mirror? Um, Camille? Hang on a sec. I'm sure it was around here somewhere. And forget the mirror. There are loads of shiny places in the garden I could see my reflection. Camille, I need to tell you something! Oh no! She's gonna be so upset when she sees the mess we've made of her hair. We need to explain that her hair do became a hair don't by accident before she sees it. What did you do? <gasps> what did you do? We're so sorry. It'll be okay. It was an accident. Please don't be mad. No! Look what you did! Now this is the face of one happy customer. It's so beautiful. You like it? Like it? I love it! She loves it! Another happy customer. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm still hungry. So, who wants to go next? Uh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Little squirrel, come out, come out, wherever you are. Come on, Willa, we're raking leaves. That sounds like fun. I'll be right there. Snack time! Come and get them! You're welcome. Don't forget where you hid that. You'll want to eat it during the winter. Hey, Camille. What you doing? Looking for leaf fairies. I figure if I look like a leaf fairy too, they might come out and say hi. Everyone's raking leaves. Let's go help them. I'll be there just as soon as I find a fairy. Okay, well, good luck. starts with a perfect pile of leaves. Ha! Huh, how's that for a perfect pile? Whoa! Awesome! Great job! Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Hey! Watch out! <laughs> you are saying you're messing up the pile! But jumping in leaves is my favorite! Come on! Last one in's a stinky skunk. <laughs> Here I come! <laughs> <laughs> if you can't break them, join them. <laughs> Leaf fairies, where are you? Huh? Where have you been, Camille? I thought we were all going to rake leaves together. Oopsie. I was looking for leaf fairies. They're really good hiders. <sighs> well, I don't know about you guys, but I could go for some hot cocoa with marshmallows. Yes. My favorite. Extra marshmallows for me. Yum! Come on, Camille. Put some sparkle in your wellies. Be right there. I'm just... We know. 
looking for leaf fairies. Suit yourself. Oops, I forgot my hat. I'm sure I had it when we were playing in the leaves. Uh, go ahead, I'll catch up. Hat, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Now for the best part. All right, who ate all the marshmallows? I didn't, wasn't me. Well, they were here yesterday and now they're not. I can't find my hat. It was my favorite and it just disappeared. The marshmallows are missing too. Get out of town. I haven't even had one. Well, until now. Hmm. Things don't just walk away by themselves. You know, they've got to be here somewhere. New plan, girls. Wonder release, search powers, activate. Now let's go find our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the Kogo? Emerson! Um, not here. I'll look in here. There's something in there, but I can't quite see. Oh, a chipmunk. Whoa. I found a rubber chicken. Hey, I was wondering where that went. <laughs> I found a mitten. That's mine. Wait a minute. Where's the other one? Again? How weird. Who's taking our stuff? Don't look at me. No hat, remember? Your hat does match Kendall's coat. What? You don't think I took Emerson's hat, do you? Just saying. Well, we all know Ashlyn loves anything pink. Like your mittens. What does that have to do with anything? I can't believe you. <laughs> Calm down, you guys. It couldn't have been any of us. Everyone's been together almost all day. Everyone? Except Camille. Come on, Ashlyn. Do you really think Camille would do this? Do what? Um, well, it's just that we're missing some of our things. And we were all together, so none of us took them. You're the only one who could have taken things without anyone seeing. But why would I? I, I wouldn't. You have to believe me. Well, come on, girls. Let's try to have some fun today. I'll find their things, and they'll see that they were wrong about me. Whoever can hold the most leaves wins. Ready, go! Come on, you guys, where's your sparkle? Just doesn't feel sparkly without Camille. You're right. It can't be a perfect fall day if we're not all together. Did you see how sad she looked? You know, we can't be sure that she really took our stuff. What if we're wrong? What if Camille doesn't want to be our friend anymore? We should go find her. We may have lost some stuff, but we don't want to lose our friend. Wonder Relly's search powers activate. Now let's go find our friend. Let's go. Camille! Excuse me. Oopsie, sorry. Let's see. I was missing, where would I be?
going, little mitten. <laughs> Hello, Norman. I'm pretty sure that's not your mitten. Camille, where are you? Found her! There you are! We've been looking for you everywhere. Are we happy to see you? Shh, I think I know where your things went. Bleepin' lemurs! Whoa! It looks like Norman collected things to keep his home warm and cozy this winter. And his tummy full of marshmallows. Willa, here's your mitten. Thank you. One hat. Thanks, I'm so happy. I thought I was going to get brain freeze. And finally, the marshmallows. Thanks for finding our thing. We're extra glad we found you. We shouldn't have accused you of taking our stuff. Yeah, we should have known you'd never take our things. It really hurt my feelings. We're really, really sorry. We shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. Is there anything we can do to make it up to you? Yeah. Jump. I said jump! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> this is <laughs> It's just the same old, boring stuff. Let's play. I want something new and exciting. Jackpot. Emerson, come look what I found. Huh? Oh, wow, wooden planks. That's exciting, I guess, if you're a gopher. Or not. Maybe for a woodpecker? Woodpecker? Where? Nice of you to drop in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ashlyn, Camille. Hi. What are you all looking at? Kendall found a pile of old junk. You see junk. I see the beginnings of an amazing building project. Hey, that would be great. Typical Kendall. <gasps> what should we build? We could build a, a... A birdhouse for the woodpecker. Willa, there's no woodpecker. With all that wood, we can build a birdhouse big enough for an ostrich. There's an ostrich? In the garden? There's no ostrich either. Hmm, what else could we build? Ooh, how about a seesaw? Ooh, I love it! Seesaws are my favorite. Terrific. Great idea! Everyone, grab some planks. We got some building to do. too heavy to carry. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my tape measure. Ooh! A ruler! <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> I've made the tape measure into a yo-yo, making things easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tools are not toys. And building is not a game. Seesaws are my specialty, and it needs to be perfect. So here's what we do. Ashlyn, you can get started sanding the wood so it's nice and smooth. Okay, that sounds good. Or... I have the best idea ever. I could carve wooden horses at each end. Oh, yeah. But it might not balance properly, so no horses. <sighs> Now, Camille, you can sort out the nets and bolts. One end of the seesaw could dip into the pond. Like a dunk tank. Sploosh! <laughs> well, I guess I won't be getting the world record for tool balancing. <clears throat> but we don't want it to get all wet. The bolts might rust. Please just follow my lead. Willa, you can paint it. I was thinking bright blue. How about I decorate it, too? With pine cones and sparkly jewels. You can't sit on a seesaw with pine cones and jewels all over it. Just stick to my paint plan. Now let's chit chat more chop chop. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> okay, let's
Let's chit chat more chop chop. Let's chit chat more chop chop. Let's chit chat. <laughs> Let's chit chat more chop chop. Let's chit chat more chop chop. Let's. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, forget it. Hey, what did you do that for? Yeah, what gives? I was gonna use that, Kendall. If you don't want to do it my way, I'll just build my own seesaw all by myself. With these planks, I'll make my own seesaw. My way. Uh, uh, uh. Kendall, come on, don't. <sighs> Easy as pie. Who am I kidding? That was hard, especially on my own. But worth it. A perfect seesaw. Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> Double the fun. Double what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Whoa, whoa. A four person seesaw? <laughs> yeah! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Mine is way better than that wobbly thing. And it's gonna be way more fun. I guess it takes two to seesaw. Hmm. Norman, want to ride my seesaw? Suit yourself. How am I going to make a new friend to play with? Huh. Make a friend. That's it. I don't need the other girls to have fun. I can make a new friend. All by myself. They'll see. She looks perfect. Nice to meet you, friend. You'll need a name. Oh, Timber! Timber. Timberly. That's what I'll call you. Do you like that? Well, yes, Kendall. You're the best friend and the best builder ever. Why, thank you, Timberly. Let's have some fun. Just you and me. Getting seasick. Seesaw sick, more like. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's Kendall playing with? What's that, Timberly? You want to dance? Sure. And then after, we can play on our seesaw. Just you and me. Doesn't look like she needs us to play with either. That's okay. We can play with just the four of us. I have the best idea ever. It's a red-bellied woodpecker. Either that or a red-faced Kendall. Come on, let's go see if she's all right. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Are you okay, Kendall? Yep, hunky-dory. Oh, but we thought we heard you yell. I was yelling with joy. Me and Timberly were having so much fun. Right, Timberly? Okay, then. Well... See you later, I guess. Bye. See ya. Have fun. Wait! I mean, funny thing, but, well, I'm stuck. You're stuck, huh? Yeah, and I kind of need a little help. You need help, huh? Yeah. But we tried to help you earlier. 
and our help wasn't good enough. You're right. I was being kind of bossy, and I shouldn't have tried to do everything myself. I'm sorry. That's all right, Kendall. Come on, let's get you down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks. You're the best. If I move Timberly, then we can stop the seesaw from dropping down. Nice and easy. Take it slow. You've got it. That's it. You know, that four-way seesaw was pretty amazing, and I was thinking maybe we can make a new one together, but with five seats. So we can all have a seat. Exactly. Five is good, but six would be better. Six? But who's the six seat for? Timberly, of course. She's part of the team, too. Where would I be without you guys? Um, pretty sure you'd still be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> there. All set. Let's give this a whirl. Hey, Timberly, I hope you don't get seesaw sick. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at me! <laughs> this is the best idea ever! Woohoo! Oh yeah! Whee! It's raining. It's pouring. The silly bunny is snoring. Whoa! <laughs> Emerson, Camille, come on! I love, love, love the rain. Wait a minute. Do you hear that? I don't hear anything, Willa. Exactly. It stopped. Uh. Don't worry, Emerson. After a rainfall, everything looks so bright. It's sparkly. how many colors there are in the garden. A zillion million, at least. <laughs> well, there might be, if you look around and find them. Oh my gosh, you guys, that gives me the best idea ever. Let's have a colorific scavenger hunt. A colorific scavenger hunt? That's my favorite. Wait, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Here's how it works. Everyone picks their favorite color. Whoever finds the most things of their color in the garden wins. Sounds fun. Who wants to keep score of what we find? Me, I'll do it. Okay, great. But just so you know, finding colors is my specialty, so I'll probably win. Now it's time to pick our colors. Oh, I pick blue for the water where the mermaids live. I pick yellow like my rubber chicken. What? What? Red for me, like my wheelbarrow. I'll be brown like the noble Sir Chippington. And I choose orange, like my favorite orange marmalade. So, everybody's got a color? Got mine. Yep, all set. Ready. Okay then, everybody to the starting line. Camille, you can call it. On your mark, get set. Not just yet. two blue things already. My dress and my wellies. They don't count. It's supposed to be the colors in the garden. But I'm in the garden. Fine, you can have it, I guess. I'm sure there's something orange right around here, too. Hey! Yellow daffodil! Uh-huh. Bingo, bingo! A juicy red strawberry! <laughs> Oops! Still counts. Yes! This stick is brown. Sounds like the others are doing well. Well, that's because they picked easy colors. Let's keep hunting. How's it going, Emerson? Well, I did find this one thing. 
Give me a Y, give me an E, give me a double L and O. What's that spell? I think you forgot something. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if we add a W, what do we have now? Yellow! And another point for Emerson. Ooh! And another point for me. Woohoo! Do you like my blue typical mermaid hair? There's gotta be something my color in here. Aha! This scarf. Actually, it's a red scarf and a yellow scarf. They just look orange together. Sorry, Ashlyn. <sighs> Does somebody say red? I'll take that, thank you very much. See you at the central tree. <laughs> That's two points for Kendall. <sighs> Gee, Ashlyn, if Kendall saw your red face right now, I'd have to give her another point. What's wrong? Nothing. Everything is just great. Oh, Bluebird. That's blue. It's right in the name. A point for me. Having much luck, Ashlyn? Oh, I haven't really been trying. I'm not worried at all. An expert colorific scavenger hunter like moi has plenty of time left to search. Excuse me, Sir Chippington. I need to show my friends your beautiful brown fur. Hey, Willa. Uh, how's it going? I'm finding brown everywhere. There's the handsome Sir Chippington, the tree. Hey, even the mud's brown. It's all so messy, Willa. Oops, sorry. Come on, Camille. <gasps> Carrot, you just ate my idea for something orange. This is the worst. Don't worry, you'll find something soon. Easy for you to say. You have tons of points and I've got none. I'm going to the vegetable garden to look for more carrots. And you're not invited. Ooh, I may need a bigger wheelbarrow. Oh, come on. It's not fair. Everyone's finding all this stuff, and I can't find anything orange. Till now. That sounds like the bell on Aunt Miranda's old bike. It's so rusty, it's totally orange. <sighs> Wait, whose bike is the... Ugh. Wet paint! Oh! Aunt Miranda repainted her bike blue. That's another point for me. I found something yellow! Check! Look, I found something red! Check! Another brown thing! Check! More yellow for me! Check! Count a red one for me! Check! Another one! Got it! Red! Yellow! Brown! Yellow! More for me! Got it! Another one! And me! One more for me! play anymore. <sighs> What's wrong? It's just the scavenger hunt was my idea and I'm coming up empty-handed. But you tried your hardest. I was bragging about being the best. What would the others think? They'll think that you need a little help looking. But you all managed on your own. Ashlyn, you picked the hardest color. I'm really sorry I ripped up the book. Forget about the book. And forget about keeping score. We can just have fun together. I'll make a list of everywhere you've looked and everywhere you haven't, and we'll check every inch. An orange terrific scavenger hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Enough chit chat. Let's get hunting. Come on, let's play. It's not all about winning. Come on, let's play out here in the sun. Come on, let's play. If you keep on grinning, you're sure to have more fun. Come on, let's play. Whatever game you choose. Keep on grinning, you're sure to have more fun. Come on, let's play. Come 
We didn't find one orange thing. <laughs> I can. <gasps> it's raining again. Let's run for cover. Whoa. Talk about colorific. A rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we found something orange. And red. And yellow. And blue. Perfect. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Way to go, everybody. <laughs> what a great day. Thanks, you guys. I need to remember it's more fun to play and not worry so much about winning. I don't know about you, but all that colorific scavenger hunting made me one hungry hunter. Yeah, let's go get a snack. Hey, Ashlyn, you can have your favorite, orange marmalade. Ugh, nope, thank you. I don't even want to hear the word orange again. Well, if you don't want it. <laughs> 